Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we made our way out of Winters, and we reunited the party. Jeff came all the way back to Threed, but Threed is still under zombie control, so what do we do now? Well, let's go and ask for a hint. I know exactly what to do, but I figure, eh, let's talk to the hint guy and get some dialogue here. A mysterious tent appeared at the south end of town. Really? Okay, so I guess that's where we need to go. Also, between last episode and this episode, I just did a little bit of inventory management. There's a certain way that I like to keep everybody's items, and let me just go over that real quick right here. So Ness, um, he holds on to what I call like key items. Um, certain things like, of course, the ATM card, the soundstone, exit mouse will always be in his inventory. Anything that I also want to store, such as the bad key machine and the pack of bubblegum, um, I don't need those anymore, so he'll hold on to them. Anything that maybe does revival or something like that, or PSI restoring items, I like to give to Ness as well. So he has kind of just interesting stuff. Paula, on the other hand... Um, because she can't actually heal using her PSI, I like to give her all of the various healing items. Jeff, on the other hand, ha will carry all of the broken stuff, so whenever I rest, he'll, you know, unbreak them. And any kind of attacking items, even attacking items that other people can use, such as the bomb or the insecticide spray or the defense spray, I like to go ahead and give to Jeff because other people have better stuff to do with their turn. So anyway, um, I went ahead and I sorted that out, and at this point, dealing with inventory space is really going to be somewhat, hopefully, a non-issue. So let's go ahead and store that stuff that I have. Uh, yeah, pick up. I'm constantly going to be storing stuff at Escargo Express. It's just really nice to be able to do. Also, whoa! Wait, where are these people going? What's going on in here? Oh. <laughs> hey, Escargo Express guy. Yeah. Whenever I first played this game on the SNES, like, I was always paranoid about, um, dying and losing money and things like that, so I would carry, like, no money at all, and I would end up calling Escargo Express and other people and then not being able to pay the bill. And, um, yeah, now I'm not the, all that paranoid, and I just carry my money around constantly. Uh, hey guys. You left your wife and kids at home. You abandoned them to go live in this tent? Ah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Those other people at the table, it seems that they just have the, um, the same dialogue as they did before. Okay, a um, couple more things that we can do here. Get over here. This guy. Remember we talked to him earlier and he had some stuff that we couldn't really use? Well, Jeff can use all the stuff that he has. The main thing, though, that I want to go ahead and buy are some bottle rockets for Jeff. And he already has some. Uh, let's see, how many does he have? He has just one. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and purchase two more. Um, you can buy the toy air gun here for Jeff, but he has the broken air gun, and whenever he finally fixes that, it'll be better than the toy air gun, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Anyway, let's go find this uh, new tent down here. It should be somewhere around here. Oh, they said it's in the south of town. Going over that way will get you to Foreside, so it's not over there. Must be over here. There's also some... There it is. There's also some enemies that you can fight around here in 3, but I'm not... There we go. I was gonna say I'm not seeing any, but here we have one that's actually rather powerful. The zombie dog. And as a zombie, it is weak to fire. The main issue with the zombie dog is that it can inflict the poison status ailment, which you really have no way of healing besides a vial of serum, um, at the drugstore. So... Hopefully he won't do that. We shall see. Hey, hey, we got him. Great. I figured I'd show him off, though. Ooh. Again, one! One for everything! A 5pp is fine. Ooh! 
Fire Beta. Great, that'll come in really handy. What is with these level ups? Come on. Whoa! Whoa! For boss time! Against the boogie tent. And the background is actually the tent. How cool is that? As a tent, it's made of fabric, so of course it's weak to fire. And let's go ahead and show off these bottle rockets that I just bought. Do not use the big bottle rocket that Jeff came with, because we'll be saving that for later. Bam! Yeah, 221 damage, 131 with that bottle rocket. Sweet! Uh, okay, so I can only use two doggies. Let's see. Yeah, go my army of beasts. <laughs> okay, there we are. So, um, this guy can use Flash against you, which can make you feel strange or make you cry. It's not that big of a deal, because we pretty much use PSI the entire time anyway. I wonder if I actually make a hard... Ooh! Great! I was going to say, I wonder if I actually make, like, a hard save and turn off the game and then reset rather than using save states, if that would help with my level up issues. Oh! That was unusual. We vanished, these zombies came, they dropped this thing off. And we get a jar of fly honey. How flies make honey is beyond me, but okay. What in the world is this thing? Belch's most favorite food in the whole world. As stinky as Earthbound? Eh, nothing's that stinky. Okay, so we got rid of that tent that the Hintman talked about. And I got rid of some bottle rockets, so now I can go to the drugstore with some more inventory space and buy some more stuff for Jeff. Um, let's see. The hard hack is a pretty nice piece of equipment for him. Let's go ahead and give that to him. Better than the Holmes hat, at least. Sure. And uh, the copper bracelet, a nice little upgrade for Jeff as well. Very nice. Um, do, is there anything that I need to sell? I don't think so. I'm, I, you know what, I'm going to sell the skip sandwich. I'm sick of looking at it. I never really use them anyway. They just make you run faster, and I don't really care. Urgh. Anything else? I think I'm good. It's always nice to have healing items. Um, bunch of broken crap. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So, let's continue on our way. But now I really have no idea what to do. I mean, that's what the, uh, the hint man said. To go over here and, uh, look for that circus tent. But how do I get rid of these zombies? Oh, um... Oh, it's Apple Kid. I was thinking it was Dad again. A unique invention. Zombie paper, and it's used to trap zombies. Works kind of like flypaper. Oh, place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. Yeah, I have. It's right there. Oh. I can get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. You asked the pizza delivery man to give me the zombie paper. That's lovely. I've never seen a zombie. I don't know that zombies are terrorizing three, but I got some zombie paper here for you. Thanks, Apple Kid. Thanks. Here we have the handsome Tom and the smiling Sam. Um, they don't look all that handsome to me. They look kind of creepy. They're like marionettes there. And let's see, we use doggy against them. They are weak to fire. Um, and I'm going to be going to the end soon enough anyway, so, eh, whatever. I'll go against them, and you can just shoot these guys. So the Smiling Sam can heal himself, as you can see. He can also use defense down on you to, obviously, reduce your defense. The Handsome Tom can put you to sleep or use Brain Shock to confuse you. So, not too terrible, but, yeah, just get rid of them any which way you want to. Okay, Mock Pizza Man, any day now, I want my zombie paper. Oh, I was hoping that coming into the tent would force the, uh, the pizza delivery man to come, but it didn't work that way. Here we are. <laughs> okay. No. 
Oh, he's like, I don't wanna do this. Let's just say that you're Ness. I'm just gonna give you this paper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Apple Kid. Well, thanks for his thingamajig. <laughs> I gave him his thingamajig. <sighs> so they said to use it in a tent. Let's see. Oh! Lay this out in the tent and the next day. Key right there. A lot of zombies may be stuck to it. Well, there we go. Save me my life! How is it a dumb product name? It does exactly what it, you know, needs to do. Yeah, no kidding. All these zombies stuck to this paper, and I guess it will attract them to here as well. I have a nice human arm fleshy bone for you. <laughs> I have a bone for the zombies, too. Oh, here, this guy is new. Um, we've already seen the handsome Tom person or whatever, but this guy is new as well. The Trick Kid. God, I have, like, no MP left. Uh, let's see. You attack the Handsome Tom. What do we got going on here? You know what? Let's use... Oh, perfect. We'll use that. And you just attack. So the Trick or Treat Kid. He can, like, shoot pumpkin seeds at you, which is... I mean, his head is a pumpkin. So I guess he's, like, shooting his teeth at you, almost? Or shooting his brains at you? It's kind of creepy if you really, like, think about how he's made and how he shoots his seeds at you. <laughs> he shoots his seeds. God, I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm like, Beavis and Butthead over here. 180? Sure. Please fix something, Jeff. That would be loverly. I have so much broken junk in my inventory. There goes all the zombies. Oh, even the two zombie guards. And they're all converging on that tent. Wow. You didn't fix anything? You have all this broken crap in your inventory and you didn't fix any of it? You suck, Jeff. Ugh. And I've hit two thresholds. I could create the, th the slime generator right now at 10 IQ. I could make the um, the better, what is it, like the the mock air gun, I think? I think it's called that. Um, <laughs> Boogie Tent Falls, young human to blame. Yeah, uh, I, I, I could make an upgraded weapon at 12 IQ. Really, Jeff? Really? Seriously? Why you gotta do this to me, bud? Oh, hey guys. Ooh. Poor zombies. How are you gonna arrest a zombie? Yeah, they're already dead. Just light it on fire or something. Oh god, look at them all. Look at them. But you're already dead. Yeah. <laughs> I like how they say death and life with the... Um, with the little apostrophes there. Or quotation marks, that's what I'm looking for. Wow. Maybe you should get out of here then, you selfish bitch. Ugh. No, I'm not gonna help you. Ew. Gasping for air. Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. You can't really die when you're already dead. Yikes. <laughs> he hopes that somebody comes with pretty girl paper. Um, there already is pretty girl paper. It's called money. You got money, you'll get a pretty girl. Don't worry. Okay. Well, we got that taken care of. Um, you know what? Before I leave, let's go talk to this guy again and buy some more bottle rockets. It's always nice to have bottle rockets for Jeff. Um... You pretty much want to keep Jeff's inventory full at all times with all sorts of attacking items like that. His his physical attack isn't halfway bad, I've got to say, but um, it's just nice to have 
better options, just in case. Wow, there's a lot of enemies around here, and I really don't feel like fighting any of them. Urgh. No! No! Uh, let's just be on our way. We saw them last time we were in Threed. It was um, a little fly and a little putrid zombie or something. But now that those guards have gone, we can go on down here. Into this weirdo secret passage. There's a lot of areas in Earthbound like this that are literally just like one straight line, but they're full of enemies like this, and it really sucks. We have a zombie dog and an urban zombie. Let's go after the zombie dog. We're going to use fire beta on both of them since they are in a line. And do try to keep your HP up because just a regular physical attack dealt 36 damage at this point. That's really rough. Okay. You want to get rid of the dog first because it can um, inflict you with poison, which you can't heal. The urban zombie, as you can see, can inflict you with a cold, which sucks as well, but you can deal with a cold. Yeah. Um, let's see, we need the PSI healing to get rid of that. Perfect. Oh, there's a casket down here. Ooh, a skip sandwich deluxe. Great. Ta-da! Yeah, various... Um, Treasure chests have various opening dialogue, I guess is the best way to put it. And what, pray tell, do we have here? Ooh, a silver bracelet. Nice. I want a silver bracelet. Oh, okay. Nothing new there. Um, We're going to give this one to Paula. It is an upgrade to... I think they have the cheap bracelet right now. Oh, the copper bracelet. Okay, it's an upgrade to that, but Paula has the least defense and the least HP. She gets a double whammy of leastness. So let's go ahead and give that to her for survivability. Also, she's really powerful, so we want to keep her alive. Here we have the zombie possessor and its cohort. In the... Let's actually use doggy and fire on these guys because they are obnoxious. Anyway, in the strategy guide that came with the game, they were actually called uh, the zombie processor. Oof, like you would process it in the blender or something. But the thing is about them is they're annoying as hell because, oh wow, fire dealt like no damage to them. That sucks. But I do want to save Paula's PP, so let's just go ahead and attack physically here. They can actually possess you. Oh, please don't do this. Okay, good. Um, and what will happen is, like, this little tiny ghost will, like, fly around you, and there's no way that you can heal it except by going to a healer. And the little the little ghost will, like, solidify you, it'll freeze you, it'll attack you. It's damned annoying. Thankfully, it didn't happen to me. I'm actually kind of getting really lucky with status ailments. I didn't get mushroomized back whenever I could have. I'm not getting possessed. I mean, I'm sure we'll see it eventually. Finally, a decent level up. Man. Still nothing good for Jeff, but I got something halfway decent for Paula, at least, so that worked out nicely. Whoa! Ooh! I spoke too soon, viewers. It's kind of hard to see with this background, but do you see this thing flying around? I've been possessed. Yeah, and I have like a little ghost icon there on Ness. And I really don't feel like going all the way back to 3 to deal with it. So we're just going to have to deal with it right now during this me boss. Oh, I'm a commoner. The mortal enemy of your kind. Yikes. What's the mortal enemy of a commoner? I guess a mini barf. This guy, although he looks mini, it's pretty damn hard. And um, let's go ahead and use fire on him. And remember I said to save your big bottle rocket? Now is the time for that. There goes the tiny little ghost to attack Jeff for one HP of damage. It'll always attack for at least, or will always attack for one damage. It's not a big deal. And I'd much rather him attack for one than um, solidify Jeff. Damn, 458 damage! Yeah, that big bottle rocket pretty much one-shots the mini barf. Ooh, six offense, sweet! Whoa! Man, this is great. Still for Jeff, one HP, what is going on? Oh, you guys love fly honey. Huh. Anyway, with that, we have made it out 
of Threed into this strange area. But what awaits us? And can we still save the people of Threed? Well, we won't find out. But we're going to keep on exploring next time on Let's Play Earthbound. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.